can an NAT gender test be wrong? If you're expecting a baby and considering a non-invasive prenatal test, NAT, to find out the gender, you might be wondering how reliable these tests are. Let's break it down to give you a clear understanding. NAT tests analyze the cell-free fetal DNA in the mother's blood to determine the baby's gender. These tests are highly accurate, but they are not perfect. According to clinical studies, NIPT tests for gender determination are accurate between 98% and 99.9% .9 of the time. Here's how it works. If the test detects even a small amount of Y chromosomes in the blood sample, it indicates the baby is a boy. If no Y chromosomes are detected, it means the baby is a girl. This method is quite reliable, especially when the test is performed after the seventh week of pregnancy. Before this period, the accuracy can be lower, around 74.5%. However, there are situations where the test can be wrong. For instance, if the test is performed too early in the pregnancy, the results might not be as accurate. Additionally, factors like low fetal DNA in the mother's blood or maternal obesity can affect the test's accuracy, leading to inconclusive or incorrect results. False positive and false negative results, although rare, are possible. For example, if the test says the baby is a boy, but it's actually a girl, or vice versa, this would be a false result. The sensitivity and specificity of these tests are very high, but not 100%. The sensitivity is around 98.9%, and the specificity is about 99.6%. It's also important to remember that NIPT is a screening test, not a diagnostic test. This means it assesses the risk or likelihood, but does not provide a definitive diagnosis. If you receive an inconclusive result, your healthcare provider might recommend repeating the test or using other screening methods to ensure accurate results. In summary, while NIPT gender tests are highly accurate, there is a small chance they can be wrong due to various factors such as the timing of the test or the presence of certain conditions. Always consult with your healthcare provider to understand the results and any next steps that might be necessary.